hello friends welcome to the, my channel today in this video i will give you brief idea regarding the squint measurements principle of evaluating the ocular motility it is based on two factors first is observation of ocular duction which are actual monocular movement of the eye and the second observation of binocular ocular alignment using the cover and cover and alternative cover test there are the various technique which is used to measurement of the deviation first is hausberg corney reflex test which can be used with the help of the torch light second is the krimsky test which is used with the help of either loose prism or the step prism bar and cover uncover test which can be used with the help of the occulter and alternative cover test which can be used with the help of the occulter as well as prism and the uh, stays pct that is prism bar cover test now next is husband corner reflex test as you can see these pictures a torch light is placed at 33 cm and focus on the eye so 1 mm is equals to 7 degree of deviation so you can see in these pictures that if a light is center of the pupil that means it's a center it's ortho if a light is on the margin of the pupil it's a 15 degree if a light is between the pupil and the limbus it's a 30 degree or if a light is at the at the temporal side or maybe you can say the line of the margin of the limbus it may be it be a 45 degree next is krumski test in this test a prism is placed on the deviating eye and it should be apex toward the deviation of the eye as you can see in these pictures in this test a patient is asked to fixate on a point light and slowly we will increase the strength of the prism power here next is modify krumski test here a prism is a placed as in a good eye as you can see in these pictures and slowly will increase the strength of the prisms until a cornea reflex in the both the eye it should be a similar in the both the eye a torch light which is used in both krumski and modify krumski so next is cover test for the cover test so the ability to a fixate the target it means to say that the patient should be have a good fixation target whatever the target which you have giving for the both distance as well as the meters having a centration fixation in the both the eye that means the patient should be have a proper centration there will be no any eccentric fixation in the both the eye or any any one of the eye there will be no restriction it means there will be no restriction movement in movement in the both the eye there will be no limitation in a uh, adduction or abduction okay and the last is the vision should be greater than the 6 by 16 in the both the eye so how we can perform at uh, this test is performed in the both distance as well as near which is 33 cm and the 6 and 6 meter so we can see in this pictures basically for tropia okay so if you cover the good eye okay here the patient is a isotropia okay the way you cover the good eye what happen at that point the eye which is a isotropia the eye which is toward the inward what happened at the point the the deviating eye will be move shifted toward the temporal side so hence we can diagnose the patient have a tropia next is cover and cover test this test it is used to deduct and confirm the foria or, lat or latent foria here you can see in these pictures one eye is cover for 5 to 10 second and observe the cover eye as cover is removed whether is a iso or exophoria this test can be done at a 6 meter and 33 cm next is alternative cover test to identify the total screen that is tropia and foria more dissociative than the cover and cover test how to perform can you can see in these pictures that hold the ocular over one eye for several second to dissociate the binocular single vision next rapid move ocular to 
to other eye observe the fixation shift of unoculated eye speed and smoothness of recover ocular is shift back and forth several time both eyes are ocular alternatively then last movement of the cover eye noted as cover is change from one eye to the other next is prism cover test here you can see you in this picture we can use either the loose prism or the bar prisms and this test is done both the 6 meter and 33 cm for both distance and the near here it is used to measure both tropia and the phoria so how to perform a prism is increase strength with apex toward the deviation is placed in front of the one eye for the base out is iso and the base in for the exo patient is asked to fixate with the other eye cover and uncover perform until there is a no recover movement eye under the cover